This is a story, a fantastically true story, from the files of Herbert A. Philbrick, who for nine frightening years did lead three lives, citizen, communist, counter-spy, and who has now revealed for the first time his secret files concerning not only his own activities, but also the current activities of other counter-espionage agents. For obvious reasons, the names, dates, and places have been changed, but the story is based on fact. This week, Herbert Philbrick brings you the story of the counter-spy involved in an effort by the party to use the big lie as vicious propaganda against the free world. Another party meeting this time with a really big commie. And the bigger the commie, the bigger the trouble for you, Philbrick. I come in. Comrade Herb, I'm Martin Tanner. Oh, it's an honor to meet you. Sit down, Herb. Well, gentlemen, I think we might as well get down to the business that brought us together this afternoon. You take over, Gary. It's a long-haul operation. The party has purchased controlling interest of Aurora Newsreel Corporation. Now, you've heard of Aurora? It's been almost 30 years in the business. Comrade Tanner here is to develop the party's operation in the company. I might add that the knowledge of the party's ownership will be limited to the men now in this room. That will simplify security in this rather important plan. Comrade Schooner and I will be the heads of the firm openly. We'll continue producing newsreel film, but in such a way that the party's international purposes will be aided. By judicious editing, cutting of film, camera tricks, the addition of specially acted scenes, we'll produce newsreel film for the rest of the world. Material that will show this country in a light that, shall we say, will create a bad impression. All this in addition to the usual operation of a newsreel company. We'll cover strikes, making sure to show police violence, slums, showing starving people, and mistreatment of minorities, politicians as fools, etc. Well, Comrade Herb, how do you feel about the idea? It's an excellent plan. Aurora Newsreel has a very good reputation overseas. It'll make a perfect front for our operation. Precisely why we acquired it. Yeah, people, people believe pictures. They believe what they see. Much better than if we just tell them. What's my job? Your field is advertising, promotion, ideas to sell. I want Aurora expanded. It must go into every country in the world. No one could possibly question your usefulness to the company or the legitimacy of your interest. How many comrades do we have in the company now? During the past few months, while we were planning purchase, we placed a dozen key men. However, one of them, a technical man in charge of laboratory work, has turned out to be a counter-agent. FBI? Yes. And our plans call for him to be uh, relieved of his duties in the next few days. And it wouldn't be safe for us to move in until he is relieved. Oh, quite safe. He's being fed entirely incorrect information. He doesn't know that we've completed purchase or that I'm the new head. Hmm. Seems airtight. Comrade Ralph will handle security on the whole project. I've asked for and gotten a very substantial budget for his department. And he's already gone to work, mainly arranging the elimination of the FBI man. Pray that you'll get out of here in time to warn Dressler and that you won't be too late. Hello, Herb. Hi, Jerry. Glad to see you. I was on my way to call on you. You met uh, Marvin Tanner? Yeah. He's been sent out here to take over the Aurora film setup. Yeah, we know. We've got a man in the setup. That's what I wanted to see you about. They know it. They know his name. Get him out of there while he's still alive. Uh, we haven't heard from him for the last 24 hours. We're waiting for a contact. How long do we have? I don't know. Maybe too late now. Yeah. Well, we're doing what we can. In the meantime, Herb, we've got plans for Aurora, and we'll need somebody inside to pull him off. I have just been dealt into the Aurora setup. Good. Couldn't be better. You can help us. What's the plan? Well, first, naturally, we'll need a list of the party members for our files. Oh, I think they'll let me know all of them. Then they have to be maneuvered into making indoctrination films for commies only. We can nail them on advocating the violent overthrow of the government. That may not be easy. 
The Smith Act is the strongest weapon we've got, Herb. But we have to prove they're planning revolution to use it. Yeah, I'll do what I can. Third, careful documentation with film and hidden recorders as to how they fake these news films and why. Well, that'll be a job for your men. But we'll need you to set up the times and places to get our men in to rig up the Aurora plant with these hidden cameras and recorders. Herb, I want you to see some of the film that the party is distributing in Europe and Asia. It's the kind that Aurora will be making and flooding the overseas market with. This is stuff we intercepted and made duplicate prints of. I'll get it over to your house for you. Good. I'm starting at Aurora tomorrow. Good luck on getting your man out of there. Yeah, thanks. I have aunts who'll need it. Nice new assignment you've got, Philbrick. Dressler's man is missing. He must have made a mistake. See to it you don't make one. Down the hall. Turn left. Next to the last office on the right. Thank you. Ah, you're right on time, Comrade Herb. So was Desmond. He was right there to let me in. Good man. Makes each one of us feel safer. I like that. Security is essential on a project as important as this one. It's strange. So many times we're fooled so easily. No matter how well we get to know a man, we can never really trust him. Mm. We play a dangerous game and the stakes are very high. By the way, what happened to the FBI spy? Desmond's very efficient, Herb. The FBI man's out of the way. You two are making me jumpy. We got a lot of ground to cover. Let's get started. film was shot in the studio with an actor. We duplicated the scene exactly. Our actor, a notorious criminal, is seated on the other side of the table. We put the two together, one on top of the other, reprint them, and we have a newsreel film that will prove the distinguished senator was keeping bad company. As you can see, Aurora has good equipment. There's no trick we can't do with motion picture film. Good equipment, excellent men. This should be a successful operation. I don't see any reason why we can't do the job. Gary here will be in charge of the technical end. You're in charge of sales and distribution. This is a fine old firm with a good reputation. I want to keep it that way. No crudeness, no roughness, no heavy hand. Oh, uh, Gary. Yes. Take your cue from Herb on the film you produce. The propaganda techniques we've developed are fine for the backward areas, but for the capitals of Europe, we must be subtle. Herb and I will work together. You know... I'd like to work on turning out straight newsreels for American theaters. In the past, Aurora sold most of its product abroad, but this will give us a genuine claim to legitimacy. I don't know. It makes us vulnerable. It just might permit the Attorney General to identify us as a front organization. Not if we prepare straight newsreel footage for American theaters and ship straight newsreel footage out of here. But how do we achieve the propaganda value we want overseas? By adding the doctored footage overseas, not here. But we prepare it here and ship it from here under a separate front organization. Excellent. Good idea, Herb. I'll set up the overseas doctoring operations immediately. Under the circumstances, go ahead with selling the American market. Fine. Good. Very, very good, Herb. This pleases me. I'll be in my office. I don't know, Herb, about selling the film overseas. It'll be tough to do. Not half as tough as explaining to the party how the FBI wiped this operation out before it ever got started. And that's just what'll happen if we assemble the film here. They'll know exactly what we're doing. You're right. Smart. Hmm. Well, now we ought to start with the men who are in the party who are already placed in the Aurora operation. Hmm. Here's a list right here. Uh-huh. No chance to copy it, Philbrick. So memorize it. And then get home 
The film from Dressler should be there. You can run it in your secret room. fighters in Korea being loaded with bombs. Germ bombs, it says. That's the sort of thing you'll be making, Philbrick. And the people of Europe, Asia, and Africa are not experts. Enough of them may believe this rubbish to consider communism their only salvation. This footage looks legitimate enough. Pretty old. But wait a minute. Strikers being beaten by the police. This they shot and carefully matched to the authentic film. Expertly made film with tremendous propaganda impact because the people who see it can't tell the fake from the genuine. You destroy everything, Philbrick. Anything that might be seen, heard, or read by men like Desmond. But what do you do with what's in your head? They can get that out, too, if they take time and care with you. It's time to meet Jerry Dressler. No relaxing on this merry-go-round. in it. I had to do it from memory. Fine. What about your man? Nothing yet. Nothing we can do about it. He's on his own. We can't even report him as a missing person to the police. Mm. You think he's had it? What have you heard? Just that he's no danger anymore. That could mean anything. He'll get in touch with us if he can. You know how it is, Herb. When you get on a spot, you can't call for help. The men are proud of their work, loyal and devoted. But once they get on a one-way street, all the Bureau can do is be sympathetic. Yeah. I sold Tanner on the idea of American releases. Good. We want to get in the Aurora plant. Well, I've been working every night. I don't see why this should be an exception. My men will come in as telephone repairmen. We'll keep some tails on the three big boys in case they come snooping around. Okay. What time? Make it just after dark. I'll be expecting it. So long. So long, Sir, we're from the telephone company. Something's wrong with your switchboard. We need to check the trunks. Oh, come on in. The, uh, the switchboard's right over there. Are you alone in the building? We wouldn't want to disturb or uh, surprise anyone else. Yeah, I'm alone. Gongan reporting. Fine. Now get right to work on the camera and recorder installations. Philbrick will show you where. And remember what we talked about. Don't go into his office or talk to him anywhere near it. Check. Chances are they've got a microphone and recorder in there. Keep in touch. Right. There's a good place for the camera in the cutting room. That light switch is on whenever the room is in use, night or day. There's no other light source. We'll wire into that to trip the camera. Yeah. Now, whenever that light goes on, there's a fan up in that ventilator that goes on, too. It should cover any sound that the camera might make. Fine. I'll be in my office. Good luck. Condon. Condon, have Silver come out to my car right away. Dressler wants to see you outside. Okay. He's on his way. he wouldn't. 
Is Desmond very efficient? You told me that yourself. Yeah, and I better not forget it. I better not forget it for one minute. be done to identify him with the FBI. Yeah. Look, Jerry, I know the job is bigger than any one man who serves it, but this... Herb, I've been with the FBI for a long time. I've lost friends, close friends, and I've never been able to attend the funeral. Yeah, that's the payoff. You die alone. One thing you have when it happens. You've done a good job for your country in terms of loyalty, devotion, sacrifice that few men have an opportunity to do. Yeah, I suppose so. May be calling me. I won't be there to answer the phone. I better go. So long, Herb. One camera in. I'll start on the second camera right away. Will has hung two mics and has a recorder set in. How long will it take you for the second camera? Hard to tell. Work fast. You finish here. I'll start with the other camera. That's right. Seal a camera on that light pan, and it'd cover everybody that came down the hall. Fine. I'll need a step ladder. There's one down around the corner there. I'll be in my office. Congdon, emergency! Emergency! Congdon, emergency! Emergency! Yes, what is it? Desmond and Tanner just stopped outside. Something's up. Get out fast. Gilbert will show you the back way out. Leave the truck where it is. I'll pick you up in the north end of the alley. Okay. Gilbert. Trouble. The rest of his father, Desmond and Tanner outside. We gotta go out the back. See, I'm not the only one who works at night. Well, this is a rather difficult project. Uh, there's a lot to be done. You know, Herb, I like your ideas about American releases and about putting the film together overseas. Oh. I've been kicking around an idea that might be even more important for Aurora. Mm. Always glad to hear any new ideas. That's one thing you'll find out about me, Herb. I have an open mind. I know. That's why I dared even think about this new idea. Now, what is it, Herb? Indoctrination and training films for Communist Party members. Excellent thought. Excellent. Of course, it's, it's full of danger and completely against party policy. Eh, you're wrong. The party will like it. It appeals to me because of its daring. It'll appeal to the international. That the American Party could produce training films in this country. It's so risky, it's crazy. It's risky, all right. We could be caught flat-footed by the FBI in violation of the Smith Act. Of course we could be. If we were caught, we'd be advocating the violent overthrow of the United States government in black and white. Still in all, it is a, an appealing idea. Huh. Herb will do it. I haven't learned my party reputation by following the book to the letter. I'm against it. I'll assume all responsibility, comrade. We'll have to take extreme security precautions. Herb, I can't tell you how delighted I am that you've been assigned to this project. Good night. Well, I, I think I'll go along with you. All right. Well, Philbrick, you've been at the edge of the cliff before. The one you see yourself fall over about once a week in a dream. How long will it stay a dream? Look, how long before you expect to wrap up this Aurora newsreel outfit? We plan to move tomorrow. Late tomorrow. Can you get the indoctrination films into a theater locally by then? I don't know. I can try. We've got a couple of local customers for straight newsreels. Okay. Make the mistake so they play it tomorrow. Okay. Go home a little after lunch tomorrow, Herb. It'll be easier for us to cover you there. Well, Eva will be glad to see me home early. And don't worry. You'll be on our side every second. Don't worry. 
Philbrick. Hear that, Philbrick? Just relax. If you only could for just one minute. Ten minutes ago. Picked up. FBI, one of my men called and told me. But I've got to find out why he was picked up. Tanner wants to talk to you. you. You're a fool, Desmond. Why waste time and equipment on me? Because I believe there's another FBI plant in here. And it could be you. Or Schooner. Or Tanner. Or you. Well, let's see what developing the film tells us. All right, fine. Does Tanner know you're devoting all this attention to me? I run my department, he runs his. They'll be showing your little surprise at the Gramercy Theater. A communist indoctrination film. I wonder what the audience will do. How many will get up to speak to the manager? Oh, come on, Philbrick, it's late. Get your work done so you can go home. Come in. Herb. What's wrong? It's in the bag. We picked up the whole bunch, everybody but you and Desmond. He's on his way over now. Yeah. Why not pick him up? <laughs> Cover for you. You and Desmond aren't going to be picked up. You were the only members of the party who were undercover in this operation. Hey, how come you, you came here to my office? Oh, now, don't worry. I've got a man outside and another one downstairs in the hall. And we just checked your office a couple nights ago and it's not wired. This was an emergency. Why is Desmond coming here? I hope just to bring you the news. And if he isn't, we won't be far away, Herb. He's coming up. Sell him. By the way, Herb, it might be some satisfaction to know that we got the man who killed our agent. Yeah, we'll take care of him. While you're bluffing Desmond Philbrick, keep that dead FBI agent in mind. Something wrong? It's over. The whole operation blew up. Everybody's been picked up by the FBI except you and me. Just the two of us. Well, what happened? Some fool in the shipping room got the labels on the film cans mixed up. That much I found out. The Gramercy Theater showed our indoctrination film on sabotage by explosives this afternoon. They got everybody but us. Why not us? Well, you ought to be able to figure that out, comrade. You and I were the only ones who had no official connection with Aurora Films. The FBI had no way of tracing us. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. The only guy who knows about me never got a chance to tell his buddies at the FBI. I almost feel like blaming myself for this whole thing. After all, I was the one that suggested making the indoctrination film to start with. Don't blame yourself. We were having a meeting. We all threw ideas, good ones and bad ones. No, Marvin Tanner was the fool. He took the idea and put it in work. You told him you weren't in favor of it. And I was right there when he said he took full responsibility. No, if the party wants anybody to blame, they'll blame Marvin Tanner. I'll see to that. It's too bad the plan failed. It was a good plan. They can't win, comrade. They stop us here and we spring up in 20 other places. You're a good communist, comrade. I didn't think so before, but I do now. And I know. That's my job. Did you hear that, Philbrick? You're a good communist. He knows. At least, he thinks he knows. This 
Communist Party plot to wage a propaganda war against the free world was stopped by maneuvering the Communists into a violation of the Smith Act, making them guilty of plotting to overthrow the government by force and violence. Next week, another story of communist activities from the files of Herbert A. Philbrick, counter-spy, a man who for nine years posed as a member of the Communist Party. <laughs>